and they end up deciding on bring out the Asuri. Taibo's got the Asuri. There's a luxury on the Sir Roland. Another Asuri in today's tournament. Very fascinating. Let's go. Three, two, one, brawl! Okay, both players immediately going for the unarmed neutral. Not even often pick up a weapon. Taibo finds the Katars, however. And covers that landing for Sir, Sir Roland as he tries to grab a weapon. Taibo making up for that unarmed pressure coming out from Seluxury. Both players just running around with their weapons right now trying to get any hits on, but really, they're kind of both failing in the neutral in the sense that they're not landing any hits. But Taibo's finally finding a groove, sends Sir Roland off stage. Roland answers with his own side air. Both players just missing in the neutral. Yeah, they're 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 attempting to exchange moves, but but not really fighting anything. They're taking damage here and there. It's very interesting. It'll be cool to see who ends up getting the momentum, but right now both players are just trying to find their their ground. Taibo finally gets uh Sir Roland to drop his weapon, however. Takes him to the orange, goes for a signature, and follows it up with a D-Light Cider to take Taibo off the stage. Trying to close out with that down air, but No, oh, nothing can be done. Hits him with a, a side light, however. This match is incredibly even in the sense that both players are exchanging an even amount of moves. Roland finds the side light, gets the side air with the unarmed, picks up the lance, he's gonna get the ground pound. Misses managing to slip out and punish with a die kick into the ground pound to take the first stop off his first stock off Zelix. Roland just barely screwing up with his option coverage there, allowing Asuri to be able to come back and take the stock. But he gets kicked off the side of the stage. Roland going very deep for this punish here. Taibo taking advantage of that by having the cat charge where Roland's unarmed. Keeping that choke going with those neutrals. Yeah, when you're above somebody who's got cat charge and you don't have any jumps, you're in trouble. Fine nice side air. Yeah, that unarmed side air is doing Roland quite a bit of work. That's how he's Taibo being... getting a decent amount of damage out with the, with the rest of the stock. And he finds an arm combo to start it up too. Yeah, tosses the spike ball off the stage, wants nothing to do with that. Lands right on the weapon and Roland gets a free combo for it. Taibo's gonna have to be a little bit careful about how he deals with these weapons. Roland picking up the lance. And finds the neutral light combo. Goes for the disco, possibly an accident, but still cool. And finds the neutral oh, eating the fist right there. Yeah. Manages yeah. to get a whole lot of pressure off of that. That Katar goes for the ledge cancel disco. Doesn't play out, but he's looking for the ground pound. But he's keeping Roland below him and off the stage. Goes for a lot of fancy maneuvers. I feel like he could have ended that stock in a few ways that would have been a little bit easier, but flashy regardless. Roland's struggling to get back on stage. Finds the side air. finding the side air. Yeah. It was really cool to see him lob those Katars up and being able to use that just barely to cover the fact that Roland had no chance. Keeping him off the stage right now with the Katars, Roland's having trouble finding any momentum at all. What happened at the beginning of this, this game, where both people were even in the neutral, it seems they've gone completely into the favor of the Assert. Hmm. I'm not quite, I'm not so sure about that. Oh, is that? Especially after that bomb toss. Yeah, I actually agree. It's a thing where I guess maybe the momentum's just being exchanged because Roland was able to take it back with a few easy option coverages. Both Roland of them also a very tanky legend. This is true, this is true. Roland just throwing out his moves right now with the side, side lights and side airs of the sword. And honestly, it's working. Imagine you take Taibo to yellow, now orange. Yeah. Using the down signature of Roland to cover weapons that he feels like Taibo might want to try to land and get. Goes to the Gravy Cancel neutral so he misses. Taibo trying to find a nice landing and get his down, yeah. his down light off, but... Taibo's struggling to find a move, but there's the down air. Roland misses the ground pound. This could be Taibo's chance to end the stock, but he gets a recovery Goes in return. Goes throw uppercut combo. Doesn't connect. Taibo often go underneath the stage. Roland looks for a move. Excellent air dodge read into a side air. But he finds that neutral into the up recovery kill, disarming the Roland. This might be very difficult, but a weapon spawns just in time. Roland getting away from that Asuri, finding the lance. This might be what he needs to get a solidified Ooh. position here. Goes for the recovery kill. Both players being incredibly dangerous off stage with their jumps, but Taibo's now at the disadvantage. Gets the unarmed combo. Goes for the gravity cancel down sig. 
Oh, it this... doesn't catch, but he does get some pressure out there. Both characters are a side air away from death. Yeah, both players. I mean, there's the side and there air. There it is from Taibo. Ooh. Excellent exchange of neutral moves. Both players just couldn't find their kill moves because they were spacing so well against the opposing character's attempts. Like, that. Excellent. Uh, it, it had to be a neutral to end of the stock. I don't think either of them were going to be willing to get hit by a signature. And game one ends up going to Taibo's Asuri. Let's see if we have a character swap from, from Seluxury. We're definitely not seeing it from Taibo. Big to Roland and bring it to Shipwreck. All right, no character changes, no even, not even color palette changes. We're seeing ourselves going to shipwreck here, the gravy boat itself. Let's see if they go for that aggressive unarmed combat once again. Roland goes for it, ends up winning out. Taibo finds a mine, however, and it connects. Taibo with the advantage in terms of stock finds a sword. Let's see if he can get these delight combos on. Something that I don't think we've been seeing between either of these players, just judging off the first map, are some like really common bread and butter combos like the sword, down and the side air. We're not seeing that. We're seeing a lot more read heavy option coverage. Yeah, both players not trying to get caught in that delight chain. Both players just uh, spacing their, their area around them with their neutral lights. But not really finding anything in there. Roland going for signatures. Turn the pressure. Yeah. Down there. Roland's going for signatures, and whenever he does, he just gets blatantly punished. Has Taiwo below the stage right now, and the the punishment from Roland here is the first stock. Yeah, taking advantage of the fact that Shipwreck Falls just does not have a very large ledge. If you get below that stage, you're gonna have trouble getting your jumps back. But Asuri's carrying him across the stage right now. Goes for the gravy cancel, but misses. Roland's struggling to find a weapon here, finds a spike ball, tosses it into it, and it works. Taibo looking for an end, trying to catch a recovery kill, but he ends up finding the, the down stick and taking Zealotry off the map. Yep. Zealotry off the map. Zealotry wasn't even able to get his jumps back, and ended up finding himself. Even though the, the, the signature itself didn't kill, he couldn't get back to the stage and fell off. Taibo going for the gravy cancel D light to cover an option. Very interesting. Both players are just playing the sword neutral once again, trying to see who can get an advantage. Not opting to toss for any of their weapons. Let's see if Taibo tosses to the side to get the Katars. He does! No! Taibo taking the game into the air. Yeah. It's really interesting to see Zaluxer use his down signature to cover what he thinks are going to be landing attempts from Taibo. They have not worked yet, but if it does, it would be devastating. Using his neutralizer right now to keep him in the air. Keeps the pressure on, but... Ooh. Finds the recovery. Uses the disco to try Dodges to cover out the weapon. The yeah. Using the Valkyrie to hit the fact that Tybo's trying to recover high. Both players playing dangerously off stage right now. Almost knocked into the bomb, but legs are too mindful. Finds the end sig. Bats him away like a close off this. And then he misses the sides of the stage and Z's. That Taibo didn't even get credit for that kill. Another danger of... Um, Taibo Cancel opening Bones. up that next stock with a nice Katar chain. Keeping Man. him away from any gadgets and any weapons and racking up the damage. Uh, wow, excellent down air into the weapon coverage. Hits him again with a lance, goes for the ground pound. But is he going to find himself off the stage again? Roland's got to be careful here. He doesn't want to give out another stock. Goes for the disco, misses, but gets the side air and ends the stock. One to one. Rolling sick, aren't you? Tybo finds the underarm to send him even further into the red. Rolling right now looking for a way in with the sword, but Tybo's got complete control over the ground. Hits him with a signature to send him off the stage and trying to get he's trying to bait out his uh recovery right now. Goes for the gravy cancel disco. Ends up on the other side of the stage getting punished by Zaluxer. Yeah, a greedy option. Finds but... the downlight of his own. Oh. Picks up the Katars and chases him off the map. Excellent. Covers the landing, and that's a round for Taibo. Goes for the ledge cancel taunt to end the game. And Taibo takes winner's quarters 2-0 to move on to winner's semis.